Schmidt Cassegrain and uh, Maxitov telescopes are very capable and excellent uh, telescopes. Optically, they're almost faultless. They can match and surpass any upper refractor at any time. With one condition, if you can protect the glass surfaces of the meniscus and the correcting place of the Schmidt Cassegrain. If you can do that, they are excellent. It's because the outer glass surfaces of them uh, absorbs the moisture from the air, especially during the night when it gets colder relatively. And the surface of this glass, if they are not in the same temperature as the outside environment, if they have not cooled down, they can absorb moisture. Uh, moisture will condensate on them and creates a fog. And the fog, the foggy condensation, practically ruins your view. In this video, I will show you what's the solution for this. One solution is to use a dew shield. This is the dew shield for the uh, Maxitov uh, ETX125, uh, the uh, mid version. It's uh, going around it, but sometimes even with this, you may have a problem. Or you may not have this uh, shield and you want something that you can use with every telescope from the smallest to the biggest. So the solution is here in this package. Let's open and see what is inside. This is a multifunctional hair dryer. It's wireless, um, you can charge it wirelessly. Intelligent overheat protection, high speed DC motor, internal battery, that's the main reason because you can buy it uh, something uh, as a hair dryer, but when you don't have the, in the field, you don't have the equipment. There is no use for it, or if you are even not close to a plug, if you are even in your home. So this you can carry around with you. And uh, natural wind, natural hot wind or cold wind, and large heating unit, heating element. This is something that can solve your problem if you have a, a dew problem. Is a hair dryer, and this is smart multifunctional hair dryer and natural wind hot wind let's open and see what is inside it comes with a um, cable for charging this is a not the British plug, so we have to get an adapter, an adapter for this. Fortunately, it comes with a USB charger, so you can charge it with any electric out outlet or uh, conversion unit that has a, or even from your mobile phone or something like that, that has a USB charge or, you know, power bank. Then we come to the main piece of resistance, and that is the hair dryer itself. It's well packed. It comes directly from China. It took a while, but it arrived. There is a little brochure inside it. It is mostly written in Chinese, but with a Google Lens, actually you can photograph this. The Google Lens and choose a text option, you can actually translate this. So no problem, but it's obvious what it is about. So, this is the hair dryer. A cordless hair dryer. I'm going to do it. This is a 
on a off button. The back side of it is like here. And that's the way it works. I'm going to charge it and I will show you the result. This is the way you can charge either with a wall plug or the same wall plug with a USB cable. So this is the wall plug of the, sorry, this is the USB cable and I'm going to attach it here. And I'm going to charge it now and show you the result. Okay, I have now charged this uh, um, wireless hair dryer. So look at it, it doesn't have its battery power. It doesn't have any cable attached to it. So I've charged it, slightly charged, not much. I just hold it for 10 minutes. And uh, I hope that is now working. Let's just test it. Yeah. Just to just to show you that this is not uh, yeah, is blown. So when the view comes to your telescope, you can just blow it away like that. Hold it against the telescope. It evaporates the view, and the view will disappear. And this is a setting for the cold. And this is for heat, and it, it doesn't have the p much power for now for that, but for the cold it has a lot of power. Uh, I think it's only 5% charge now at the moment, so I'm just going to let it to recharge, then I will use it. I must say that it's really beautiful, really elegant uh, for this purpose. And that's the way it looks uh, like um, to the normal eye when you hold it in your hand this image is not processed or anything it just shows the way it is